Hello, friends, and welcome back to Playworks Play at Home. My name is Coach Stin. Can I get everyone to say aloha, Coach Stin? Now, for anyone that was here with us this morning during our warm up session, does anyone remember what the word aloha means? Yeah, aloha means both hello and goodbye in the Hawaiian language. And today, we've had our imagination hats on real tight because we've been pretending that we're on a magical journey through the Hawaiian Islands. Now, before we continue our magical journey, I would like to remind everyone that, like I said, my name is Coach Stin. I am a site coordinator and certified trainer out of the Playworks Pennsylvania region. And I would also like to give another big shout out to our friends over at New Balance. New Balance has been Playworks sponsor for our Play at Home sessions and we are so, so, so appreciative. Thank you so much, New Balance. Now for anyone that was also here this morning, our warm up game that we played was called Surf's Up. And if you would like to play Surf's Up, you can go ahead and click on that warm up video from earlier today and you'll find it right there. So, one more time, I would like to go over our group agreements. These are rules that we have for everyone to keep in mind to make sure we can all have a good time. So if you could repeat after me, could I get everyone to say, be safe. Awesome, can we say, be respectful. And my favorite group agreement, the one that we cannot forget, can everyone help me by repeating after me and saying, have fun. Awesome. So, we're gonna get ready to play a re fun recess game. Now, all of our recess games this week are gonna have a special theme, and that theme is gonna be responsible decision making. So while we're playing our game today, I want you to be thinking about, specifically thinking about identifying problems. Thinking about what? Identifying problems, that's right. Now, everyone's got their imagination hats on still, right? Real tight? Oh yeah. So we had a really awesome surf session this morning. And next, we're gonna go on a hike through the Hawaiian lava fields, through the volcanoes. Now, does anyone know what a volcano is? Yeah, a volcano is a really, really, really big mountain, and it sprays and spills out lots of really, really, really hot rock. And a lot of times that hot rock is still a liquid, and when that hot rock is still a liquid, we call it magma. But when it comes out onto the earth and it hardens, that hot rock is then called lava. So the game that we're gonna play right now is a game that is called The Floor is Lava. What's the name of the game? That's right, the floor is lava. Now, to play the floor is lava, you will need a couple things. You will need a few stepping stones to stand on. So your stepping stones can be any object that you have around the house that you could f fit just about two of your feet on, both of your feet. So, for example, that object could be something like a paper plate. It could be a piece of paper. I am going to use Frisbees that I've got, all right? Now, you will need one more stepping stone object than you have people playing in your game. So if you're playing all on your own, then you will need two stepping stone objects. If you're playing with one friend or one family member, so there's two of you, then how many stepping stone objects would you need? Three, that's right. Remember, one more stepping stone object and you have people playing in the game. Now, 
you will also need to set up a lava field. As you can see, I've set up my lava field in the front. I've got two flower pots that I have in the house that are going to act as the front of my lava fields. And then all the way back here, I've got two tennis ball cans, and those are going to represent the back end of my lava field. All right? So remember, you're going to need to have stepping stone objects, one more than you have people playing in your game, and you'll need four objects for your lava field. I'm going to give everyone 35 seconds to go find the objects that we need, and then you can meet me right back here. All right? Here we go. 35 seconds starting now. 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, my friends. If you're all back, make sure you step, set up your lava field just like I have one here. Now, to play this game, now I'll remind you one more time, the name of the game is called The Floor is Lava. What's it called? The Floor is Lava, that's right. Now, to play this game, you are going to need to start with your objects and your teammates. Your teammates will need to stand in one straight line starting at the back end of your lava field. You will need to take your magical stepping stone objects. And remember, in this game, we do not want to let our feet touch the lava or touch the ground. So we can only let our feet touch our stepping stone objects. So we need to lay your stepping stone objects out in front of you, step on them, and move your objects forward. Continue to step across without letting your feet touch the lava. If you make it all the way across from one side of your lava field all the way to the other side of the lava field without your feet touching the ground, then awesome, you've done a great, great job. Now, if you are on your way over from one side of the lava field to the other side of the lava field and you fall off of your stepping stone and your feet touch the lava, oh no! We're going to say, good job, nice try. And if you get a good job, nice try in this game, all you have to do is say, I am awesome! Say what? That's right. Now, after you say, I am awesome, you get back in line at the end of your lava field with your stepping stone objects and simply just start over again. If you got that, can I hear it? I got it! Awesome. So let's do a practice round first, all together. All right? So can I see everyone? Make sure you get in a straight line behind the end of your lava field. Make sure you've got your stepping stones with you. And on the count of... Well, we need a magic start word, don't we? Could someone give me a magic start word? All right. How about sunshine? I like that one a lot. Sunshine is going to be our magic start word. So when I say the word sunshine, you are going to be trying to make your way from one side of your lava field all the way to the other side of your lava field without falling into the lava. And if you do fall in the lava, good job, nice try. I am awesome. 
and you start right back in again. All right, here we go. And three, two, one, sunshine! Good job, everyone. Good job. Don't fall into the lava. Good job, my friends. Woo! Good job. Here we go. Alright. And I have made it all the way across my lava field. I'm gonna give everyone 15 more seconds to try to do the same. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Awesome! All right, my friends, so you all did such an awesome, awesome, awesome job at that practice round. So, for our next round, what we're gonna do is I am gonna put fit, I'm gonna put 45 seconds on my timer, and I wanna see how many times you can make it back and forth across your lava field without actually falling in. Now, before we even do the next round though, can anyone tell me, when we're trying to think about identifying problems, what's a problem that we have right now while we're trying to play this game? Yeah, exactly. Our problem here is that we can't let our feet touch the ground and touch the lava. And we don't really have that many stepping stones. We only have one more stepping stone than we have people that we're playing with. So we got to make sure that, yes, we know what the problem is and try to work our best way through it. All right. If you got that, can I get a two thumbs up? All right. Remember for this round. Once you make it across your lava field, you don't stop there. Turn around back and go the other way. I want to see how many times you can make it back and forth without falling in. In 45 seconds. And if you do fall in, you just go back to the side that you were last on and start over. And your number still stays the same, but you only add one when you've successfully made it all the way across. If you got it, can I hear an ah, got it? Awesome, all right. So can I see everyone stand up? And everyone get back to the end of their lava field. Straight line with your team if you're playing by your own. Stepping stones in hand. And 45 seconds gonna be on the clock starting when I say the magic start word of what? Sunshine, that's right. Here we go. And three, two, one. Sunshine! All right. Don't let your feet touch the ground. Touch the lava. Great job, my friends. Great job. Woo! Good job. Oh. Here we go. Right. All right, I made it across one time. Now I'm gonna go back. Ooh, I almost touched the lava. Good job, everyone. Good job. Great job. I see you guys. I see you. Our 45 seconds is up. I made it across my lava field one time. How many times did you guys make it across your lava field? If you want, it might be really, really fun if you could put down in the comments on this video and tell me how many times did you make it across your lava field? Wow, some people did an awesome job. Can we get everyone to give himself a pat on the back and say, I am awesome. 
All right. So, we're going to play one more round of this game, but in the next round, I want you to think about what were some problems that you were able to identify that you had in that first round that we played. So, maybe your problem was your stepping stones were too far apart and it made it really hard to reach them and then your feet hit the lava. Or, maybe you were trying to go too fast and too quickly and it was a little hard to stay under control and then your foot hit the lava. So I want you to think about any problems that you might have had and think about how you can do it differently for this next round. All right? If you're ready, can I get an, I'm ready! Awesome. All right. Everyone get back up. Straight line with your team, if you're playing by yourself, at the end of your lava field. Stepping stones in hand if you're ready, and I'm getting my timer ready. 45 seconds. Let's see if you can beat the amount of times you came back and forth last time. So I got one, so I'm going to at least try to get two this time. All right? 45 seconds starts on the magic start word of sunshine. Ready? Set. Sunshine! Oh yeah, I'm trying to move a little bit quicker this time, but remember, I don't want to move too quickly, because that was a problem that some of us had last time, that we were moving too fast, and we were a little out of control. So I'm going to try to not go too crazy, but I want to try to beat my score from last time. Alright, I made two. Let's see, can I get the three? Can I do it? Can I make it? Oh, let's see. Yeah! Time is up. I made it three times. How many times did you all make it? If you could leave a comment in the comment section and tell me how many times you made it across, that would be awesome. Oh! Cool, it seems like lots of friends did better than the first time. Great job, my friends. Now, can anyone remind me what the name of that game was? Yeah, it was called The Floor is Lava. Awesome. And what was the, uh, the topic or the skill that we were trying to remember while we were playing that game? Identifying problems, that's right. Great job, everyone. Round of applause for everyone. Great job. All right, my friends, I was so proud of you all that before we go, I'm gonna do another appreciation clap with you. And this one is gonna be one that's gonna relate back to our warm-up game that we did earlier. And this clap is called the Surf's Up Clap. So, I'm gonna count down from three, two, one. We're going to clap, we're going to get on our surfboards, and we're going to say, na 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 Whoa, what a wipeout! Did anyone see that? All right, so, surf's up, clap on three, surf's up, clap on me. Ready? One, two, three. na 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 Whoa! Great job, my friends. Now, I hope you join me back in two more hours for our cool down for the day. All right, my friends, I'll see you later. One more high five. Boom!